welcome back to our channel today we are diving into a hot topic that's been making waves in the automotive world petrol versus electric cars in india with the growing concern for the environment and the push towards sustainable transportation many people are considering electric vehicles as an alternative to traditional petrol powered cars what is the switch worth it let's find out Let's start by exploring the advantages and disadvantages of petrol cars. Petrol powered vehicles have been the backbone of the automobile industry for decades, offering certain benefits that have made them popular choices among Indian consumers. Petrol is easily available throughout India thanks to an extensive network of petrol stations across cities and highways. Filling up a petrol car is a quick and convenient process, taking just a few minutes compared to the longer charging time of electric vehicles. Petrol cars are known for their powerful engines, providing excellent acceleration and speed. Let's now look at the disadvantages of petrol cars. Petrol cars emit greenhouse gases, contributing to air pollution and climate change. Petrol prices have been subject to fluctuations, and the increasing costs of fuel can significantly impact the overall cost of ownership. Petrol engines require regular maintenance and oil changes, which can add to the operational expenses. Now let's move on to electric cars the rising stars of the automotive industry electric vehicles are gaining popularity in india due to their eco friendly nature and advancements in technology electric cars produce zero tailpipe emissions reducing the carbon footprint and promoting cleaner air quality electricity is generally cheaper than petrol resulting in lower running costs for ev owners electric vehicles have fewer moving parts than petrol cars reducing the need for regular maintenance Let's now look at the disadvantages of electric cars. Despite the growth of charging stations in urban areas, the charging infrastructure is still developing, making long distance travel a challenge in certain regions. Some electric cars have limited range compared to petrol cars, causing concerns about running out of charge during longer journeys. Electric vehicles typically have a higher initial purchase price than their petrol counterparts, though government incentives and reduced operating costs can offset this over time. So, how do these factors apply specifically to India? Let's take a closer look. The Indian government has been actively promoting electric mobility through various incentives and subsidies to encourage the adoption of EVs. While the charging infrastructure has improved in major cities, it still needs expansion to accommodate the increasing number of electric vehicles on the road. Electric car manufacturers are continuously working on increasing the range of EVs, making them more viable for longer trips. Consumer perception and awareness play a significant role in the adoption of electric cars in India. Educating consumers about the benefits of EVs is crucial. Let's now look at the factors impacting the overall cost of ownership for electric cars and petrol cars. The first factor we'll discuss is the price of the vehicle. Electric cars generally have a higher upfront cost compared to petrol cars. This is due to the advanced technology and complex electric powertrain they come with. On the other hand, petrol cars are more affordable in terms of the initial purchase price. Moving on to registration charges. Here in India, one of the advantages of electric vehicles is that they come with no registration charges. Yes, you heard it right. Buying an electric car saves you a significant amount in registration fees. However, for a petrol vehicle, you'll have to pay registration charges, which vary depending on the car's price. Now, let's talk about car insurance. Insuring an electric vehicle can be a bit expensive. EVs are equipped with costly components like the battery pack and electric motor, which impact the insurance premium. On the contrary, the car insurance premium for a petrol car is comparatively lower. Another interesting aspect is the incentives and subsidies. When purchasing an eco-friendly electric car, you can avail yourself of government-provided incentives and subsidies, which can slightly reduce the price of the EV. Unfortunately, such benefits are not available for petrol vehicles. Let's talk about fuel consumption. Electric cars have the upper hand when it comes to fuel efficiency, since electricity costs less than petrol the running cost of an ev is significantly lower on the other hand petrol cars fuel economy varies with the engine capacity and other factors resulting in comparatively higher running costs maintenance costs are an essential consideration electric vehicles have fewer moving parts leading to lower maintenance expenses in contrast petrol cars come with complex mechanical components like engines gearboxes and brakes which require regular servicing adding to the maintenance costs Finally let's discuss the resale value of the vehicles due to the limited supply of second hand EVs in the used car market your used electric car may potentially fetch a higher resale value than a petrol car however the actual value depends on factors like the make model condition and location
In conclusion, the choice between a petrol car and an electric car in India depends on several factors. If you value quick refueling, long range capabilities, and a well established fueling infrastructure, a petrol car might be the better option. On the other hand, if you're concerned about the environment, looking for long term cost savings, and willing to adapt to the evolving charging infrastructure, then an electric car could be the way to go. Remember, the automotive landscape is changing rapidly, and electric cars are becoming increasingly popular. And accessible as technology advances and the charging infrastructure improves, the electric car segment is expected to see significant growth in India. Thank you for tuning in, and we hope this discussion helps you make an informed decision when considering your next vehicle. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more informative content. Until next time, drive safe.